Okay, here goes. This lab is called Throw the Ball Potato Gun, two-parter. Actually, a little bit of a three-parter. First step is um, something you can't do at home unless you have your own potato gun. Raise your hand if you have your own potato gun. Okay, you can do this at home. <laughs> Anybody have a potato gun at home? Well, you sick puppies. All right, so here goes. What I want you to do is we're going to shoot off the potato gun straight up. That's step one. We're going to shoot the potato gun off straight up. Time how long it has as hang time. And just by knowing that, we're going to know two things. One, the initial speed coming out of the gun because we're shooting it vertical. And we're also going to know an uh, average lame answer called wind speed. Wind speed. Huh? Think about that. How do you figure out how fast the wind was blowing? It's not going to hit us in the head. So you're kind of going to know the wind speed. Now, I don't feel much of a wind at all out here today. <laughs> so with a little bit of excitement here, somebody might get knocked out, which would be kind of cool. The second half of it I'll show you in a second. But let's just shoot the potato gun off for a, a couple of times just to have some fun. The second part of the potato gun is uh, we're going to shoot it off, um, like first vertical, but then we're going to shoot it off, if I have three potatoes left, uh, at a low angle, like 30, high angle at about 60, and then an in between, which is the coolest, 45, which you guys will work with Dr. Lovell about uh, figuring out why 45 is such a cool thing. Okay? So we got to mark off this way every 10 meters, put a book bag or something down, and mark it off so we can go that way. The second half of this lab is us throwing the ball. We have three uh, hard balls that we're going to throw the ball and we're just going to take two easy measurements. The time it was in the air and how far it was when it landed. Ideally, it should be where they catch it, so it's from shoulder to shoulder. But it's negligible with the reaction time anyway. So wherever it lands, that's the distance, and then we measure the time. Using distance and time, listen to what you're going to be able to find out the initial speed of it coming out of your hand and the direction. You're actually going to find the initial velocity as it leaves your hand. You can also find out how high it went, all just by knowing distance sideways and time. So it's kind of cool. All right? Like I said, it's like homework problems, but we're outside, so it's cool. Okay? All right, so let's measure this off. Why don't you shut that up for a second? All right, I got 60 meters in book bags, and while well, we're just gonna shoot the potato gun off for fun, and then shoot the ball. And go. A uh, nothing like uh, Home Depot for your own homemade potato gun. I got it in from the uh, grill that I was throwing out. <laughs> yeah, that first thing that goes. Yeah. Like, there it is. All right. And then I PVC all this in. I had a uh, one of my students. Uh, put the back end on, but he forgot to tell me that he didn't glue it. So that was really bad when I shot this off once and the whole thing went flying through my hand. The blood was everywhere and it was snowy out. It was really cool. All right, so Sam freaks out every time I do this now. All right, what we're going to do is get this potato. Uh, Let's see if I got a good seal. Yeah. That'll work. Okay, I got a potato that I ramrod into the potato gun. Shove it all the way down to the end. I know. Isn't this fun? Then we get a hairspray person. Okay. Timer's ready. You're going to time how long it takes to go up, hit it, goose. Should we like disperse? Should get wait? out. All right. Hit a goose and come back. Ready? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Fire. All right, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. It's coming down, it's now coming down. Get ready with your timer, Dan. Three, two, one, stop the clock. All right, Evan, Evan, we need a measurement from here to there so that we know wind speed and direction, huh? Huh? All right, ready? Ether. I got ether. All right, so 30 degrees, what do you think? Is that 30? All right, shoot that way, and three, two, one. Nice. Woo! Who's going to measure that one? That's uh, 100 yards, I mean 100 meters. Oh, probably. 110 meters. <laughs> two, okay. one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Going, 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 See how much going. hang time there is when it's 60? Yeah. Look at that. Bam. Now, that was a different. Um, oh, thanks for the warning. Wow. Yeah, you didn't count down. Now, 45 is a nice, nice 
Um, Drop. All right, this is where you need some friends. Mark off 10 meters every single time and then throw the ball on time how long the ball was in the air for and know how far it went. Timers are ready. First up, math you. Okay, so Go ahead. Timing, right? Timer's ready. Nice. Timers. There you go. Timer's ready. Nice. 